Well, would you look at the time? Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Make sure everything is set right here. And been behind the old microphone here for a couple of days. Just got to make sure that uh, that everything's in the right spot. How's everybody doing this morning? Doing well, I hope. Get the camera in the right spot. And we'll even put, look, put that up on the screen. Hope everybody's doing okay. Having a great uh, Friday so far. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start growing and enjoy the benefits of owning your own business. That sounds a lot like the radio show open. Oh, and I've got a surprise for you. You guys don't let me forget before the end of the show, okay? Um, listen, if you are, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, if you would do me uh, a favor, leave a comment, say hi, let me know that you are there. That would be fantastic. Now I don't know what to do with my phone. <clears throat> anyway, I don't need it right now. And listen, if you are out on uh, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, any of those, SoundCloud, watching on YouTube maybe, enjoy the show there. Give it the thumbs up in that uh, context there where you are. And come on over to 7 com, where you can join in the conversation. So... This is going to make for an interesting show because today is Free Coaching Friday and I don't have any questions coming in from you guys yet. So I'm just going to talk about one of my, uh, one of my extra topics for the week. You know, this week we've been talking about ugly babies and, and yes, there's ugly children involved, but the real context we've been talking about is when you come up with a business idea, you come up with an idea that um you can i'm sorry got distracted there for me you come up with an idea that you really enjoy but nobody else does it's kind of like a parent who you know produces an ugly baby so what do you do right what do you do when you have a great idea and it is an idea that you want to pursue and nobody's buying it i hear that all the time um you know, it's, but Tom, this is such a great idea. Okay. And, and, and honestly, five times a week, I hear this five times a week. And so it's a pretty simple answer for me, you know, when they are absolutely positively convinced that this is a good idea, I'm like, all right, great. Show me. Bring me some customers. Show me other people that believe this is a great idea. And when you're able to do that, and, and sometimes, look, sometimes they do it just to prove me wrong, which, you know what, at the end of the day, that's fine. They have still created the result. But if your idea is good, then there will be people who want to pay you for it. Now, what if nobody wants to pay you? That's okay too. I mean, you know, glass beads is kind of my go-to example. You can enjoy making glass beads. There's nothing wrong with that. You just can't make it a business. Yeah, but Tom, what about all these other people that sell glass beads? Well, they're doing something different than you are. Don't know what we can examine, try to figure it out. But if you just want to enjoy making glass beads or, you know, whatever, then just do that and just enjoy it, right? Way too often, people get get a hobby, they get, you know, pick up an extra skill, they're really good at it, and somebody suggests, wow, you ought to, you ought to start a business doing that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I really should. I should do that. Not if there's not a market. I mean, there's no reason why you can't make billions and billions of glass beads if that's what you want to do and have a good time doing it. But that doesn't mean just because you enjoy it, and even if you make really pretty stuff, that doesn't mean that there's a market for it. So, you know, a business needs three things. People that have a pro- people, number one, that number two, have a problem, 
and that you can, number three, solve profitably. People, problem, profitable solution. If you don't have those three things, you don't have a business. If nobody's buying it, you can't do it profitably and there's no people. I mean, almost all three legs of the, the stool are gone in that scenario. All right. Look, and, and I'm going to say this and then move on to something positive. I want to end the show on a positive note. People don't buy your stuff because they don't want it. Now, why they don't want it, we can work on. But at the end of the day, if you're having trouble selling your product, it's because people don't want to buy it. Maybe they don't see the value. Maybe they don't feel the pain that you think they do. There's something there, though. That's, that's causing them, that's leading them to believe that they don't need what you have for sale. Now, next week, I'm just give you, I'm, I'm going to transition into, uh, I'm going to take us back on the upswing here. <clears throat> next week, I want to talk about work that matters, kind of the opposite of ugly babies, right? If, if ugly babies are, um, you know, creating a product that nobody wants work that matters is work that you do that, that impacts many, many people. So that's what we're going to talk about next week. So it's kind of the, all right, we've figured out what we're not doing next week. Let's talk about what we are going to do. So be sure and tune in for that. And now since the cat's out of the bag and uh, my old buddy, Tim made a, a video post on this topic yesterday, I'll just go ahead and say, there's a new podcast coming, y'all. <laughs> oh, my friend Tim Knox and I, on uh, Wednesday, I believe, this coming Wednesday at high noon, we're going to do the first installment of the Entrepreneur Code. I don't even know where to tell you to tune in for that. But I will. I'll let you know. I'll let you in on the secret. I'll give you more details as that comes along. Be sure and share the link with you where you can get connected with us. If nothing else, it will be entertaining <laughs> because the two of us don't sit down and talk very long without starting to crack some jokes. So uh, be sure and be on the lookout for that. I, we, we do we have decided for sure it's going to be on Facebook Live. It's going to be on Wednesdays and it's going to be at noon. So we know those three things for sure. So go ahead and put that on your calendar. I'll give you all the details as we get into it. Hey, listen, <clears throat> it is... Friday, that means the weekend's coming up. You guys have a fantastic weekend, all right? Get some rest, get some relaxation. Be recharged and re-energized, ready to attack the week next week on Monday. That's when I'll be back here Monday morning, 7 o'clock, with another brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Till then, you guys take care. Talk to you soon. Well, maybe I will. Will I? I don't know. Let's try it this way. Yeah, you know, when I learn how to punch the right buttons and keep the focus on the right app, things work a whole lot better when I do that. <laughs>